觉。So good. Anyway, let's get back into this. Okay. A whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city, he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Whenever I start to get happy, there's always like Gosh. and songs for them you to know, play. You're like, oh yeah, this is people are so happy, I'm liking it. And then next minute, it all starts getting morbid. We talked about like, oh, starting a band. Holy shit. And he was always humming something. Day, his imagination grew Eat stronger. Lemons. Lemons he no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. <coughs> New Lewisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. 
until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. I'm gonna end up grabbing her arm or something. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. Followed the sound of her silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. What is this? More fish. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. This is all fish blood. <sighs> huh. Take away, man, yeah. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Finch, nice home. Still working. It's not even moving the fish anymore. It's just imagining doing it.
Okay, this is actually me. This is actually... So what's he gonna do? Kill himself? Put himself off, I guess. Ooh, yeah, it's not. Will I accuse him here? I still thought I could save him. Oh, you can't. Nice. Turn around, keep going. Run, run. Why are you so slow? That's Even after he said he was being crowned yeah. king over all the lands of wonder. That's me walk. The palace would be packed with his companions. wise calico who'd insisted on advising him. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Oh. <coughs> My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Yeah, that's uh, that was something. Mm -hmm. well, that was. Almost got them all. Almost. See. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Just... 
My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Test to relief. Sanjay. Evac specialist. This is a true story. Yeah. that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. I bet you'd have died. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very yes, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Ooh. Um... Yeah, I guess I am excused. I have no choice in the matter. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. How would you not know about this entrance? It's literally right here. <laughs> oh. Why, why would you... Take this... That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. One misstep, one. I don't know, one wrong move. Edith has a right to know oh, these stories. My children are dead because down. of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. This trip of inches. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. <gasps> oh, do we get to go to the old house? It was the yeah. first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, 
I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. No, you didn't. You just kept on going. You're fine. I got oh, turned yeah, that's around. Right. What do you mean you go turn around? I didn't. Or you completely turn around? Or completely turn around if you want, but I. For a sure while, I wondered. I wondered. I started uh, uh, no. seeing things. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like the Things I'd the forgotten had ever existed. When I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Okay, yeah, this, obviously this, yeah, it's gonna be a, a gate, yeah. Of course the house, yeah. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith! What are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. Are we gone as in dead? Or? We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Yeah. Until I found out about you. Juice. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. No, oh, I'm guessing this is her. Yep, okay. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Well, how did she die?
What? Hey. I don't even find out how Edith died. <laughs> I don't even find out how Edith died. I'm at the end. I don't think you do. You just. The book just goes down to. Edith's, uh, Edith's uh, son. What, going from like a cat to a, a eagle to like a weird snake thing. Milton was never found as well. Milton was one of the kids disappeared at young age. This is like a true story in some way. <laughs> Definitely. Oh no. I mean it's it's a pretty short game. You know. You get sucked into it like uh, most people do. Can get for it quite quick. <laughs> Maybe that, at least then, just holding a shotgun. Probably to a shotgun. Nathan Gary. Not even gonna try and pronounce that name. Jeff, that one. Uh huh. <laughs> the bowl cut. Story option is now available. Select either to play from the beginning. Okay. I'll try and get all the achievements, so. Uh
This one's about uh, the bunny. Ooh. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. I ate a lot of can food that night. Actually edible or just plastic. Okay, let's just eat this carrot then. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Suddenly, I was a cat. No, damn, I can't jump in the That sucks. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I had. Hey, what's up? First playthrough, sir. Oh, yeah. Apologize, I didn't see the uh, anyone talking in the chat then. Uh, yeah. Well, I just finished the game, but I'm going back for it to, um, to get these achievements. So. Oh, but yeah, that was my first playthrough. And, uh. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Pretty fun. I love, I love games like this with the you know, just you know, different types of art, unique arts, and the music, just the gameplay in general. It's quite unique. And I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Strange. Like it's all quite like light-hearted and happy at points, and then it goes like dark. A mama <laughs> rabbit. Choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh yeah, 
das ist zwar schock, ne? I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungry. Ich 
still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I got closer and closer. I'm just trying to go out the window. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Hey, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Confident, eh? I said confident, eh? Oh yeah. But we should be super confident. Hmm. Okay, well, what are the achievements we need to get now? Loop the loop. What does it make any sense? I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did.
How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! Get up, Daddy! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that, Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up, then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Loop de loop de loop. Right, now I just have to get the bunny. Where's that bunny? Uh, Sam story, that's it. The other brother. Silly goose. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. What? Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hmm. Definitely should not have drunk all that. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. 
You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! Oh! You okay, then? Of all these stories, that's the one I wish mm. most that my mom had told me. I think I've got all the achievements in this game now. Let's check. Yep, all the achievements. Finished the game, got all the achievements. That is it for this game. Oh, done. Oh. Ah. I'm yawning by the end of it. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the game alongside me. Um, and, uh, yeah, and cast here. I don't know if I've got it in me for any games tonight. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you in the next broadcast.